Okay guys, the video you're about to see is of this 1978 Chevy C10 truck that goes by the name of Billy James. It's a collection of pictures that my wife and I have put together. And we're not real smart on doing extra things like what we're about to show you. So if we mess up, I apologize, but it's the best we can do. So I hope that you will enjoy the video. It's about this truck and the video that I'm you're fixing to see is how this truck how we got it when we first when we first got the truck what it looked like and this is kind of like as of today what it looks like today still a long way to go but it's come a long way too so i hope that you'll enjoy the video let me know what you think and i'll see y'all in a little bit okay this is the 1978 chevy c10 truck billy james when we first bought it and brought it to gas sax chop shop Here's the front end of it before anything was done, and I just let the picture speak for themselves. There's that door that we replaced that you'll see in another picture here shortly. Pretty sad, isn't it? A lot's happened since I first got the truck home. No motor or transmission, as I've said earlier. This is the parts truck that donated the motor and transmission for Billy James four-wheel drive 78 Chevy truck. There's the front of the four-wheel drive. It was just for parts. This is the back of the four-wheel drive, obviously. Pretty sad. Here's the fenders and door and stuff that I bought from the long bed Chevy truck. There's another picture. of There's the door, passenger side door. That was replaced to put on Billy James. There's the passenger side front fender that wound up being on Billy James. Uh, there's Billy James uh, had the exhaust run. There's the insides of Billy James when we first got it. Pretty junky and nasty if I do say so myself. That's Tim Dixon helping Corey and myself to put this motor and transmission out of the four-wheel drive truck into Billy James. Big old shout out to Tim Dixon and Corey at Gas Axe Chop Shop, 10 Mile, Tennessee. Another angle of it. Boy, I was glad to get that in there. There's Billy James with a red tailgate because I took that tailgate off and put it on the 75 C10 Sky. There it is finally in the shop at Gas Axe. This is the wreck truck that donated so many parts. 78 Chevy C10 truck. This is the one that the bed is on Billy James now and the insides. He hit something hard. I don't know if he went in a ditch or what, but I pray that he was okay. There it is getting loaded up on the trailer. The car hauler after we purchased the truck. That's Corey, and we were helping him put the door on, and that's the front fender that you've seen in the trailer, uh, back of the bed. There's Billy James with that. Uh, no, I'm sorry, that's the parts truck, the wrecked one we just bought. Pretty sad, isn't it? 
I hope he didn't get hurt. The bed is off of it at this point, and it's on Billy James. Okay, this is the bed I was looking at. Under that plastic is a 350 motor I bought too. There's the bed on Billy James. Boy, was I glad to get that on there. What a relief. There's the insides of Billy James again. It, the, the insides was terrible. Dash and everything. It's just, it was just all clapped out. That wrecked truck donated so many parts. Golly, I was so glad to find that wrecked truck. It was just like God made it happen. There's the floorboard of Billy James before we done any swapping out on parts. That's Corey. We fix and take the dash pad off. There you go. Dash pad is off. Getting ready to install the one off the wreck truck we just bought. Ta-da! There it is. Looks so much better. There's the new bumpers we bought for Billy James, wrapped up in bubble wrap. Got the sport bumper for the rear. That's that old bumper that was on Billy James. It was all dented and warped. And that's the hood off Dookie. That's Tim putting exhaust and new, uh, all kinds of new stuff under there. Lowering kit and everything. There's Tim Dixon there. He does outstanding work. I'm proud to have him for a friend. That's those two, hood I, two hoods that I bought. Wound up using the white one. But I still have the green one. There's Billy James with the new exhaust on it. Of course, the bumper ain't on it yet. And that centerpiece on the tailgate's not on it yet. Still has the Corvette rallies. I, I had a grill that I painted and I stuck in there later on. That you'll see. Okay, before, this is before we put that centerpiece in the tailgate. There it is. You can see it in my wife's hand. There it is there. I was proud to get that too. Ta-da, there it is. That looks so much better. Really dressed it up really nice. I like the sport bumper too. All that stuff is really expensive. There it is up on the rack. It's still got the Corvette rallies on it, truck rallies. Um, they're Corvette rallies, but they look like, a, I mean, they're... Uh, Five on five boat pattern. There's the new front bumper on it. Nice and straight. There's the back bumper on it, sport bumper. That stuff's really expensive. The bracing, the license plate holder, it's expensive to buy all that stuff. There it is with the uh, rallies on it. I was going to run rallies. But you know my favorite wheel, American Racing Torque Thrust, that I get in Madisonville, Tennessee at Ronnie Tyler's. I had to have them. To me, it's a good choice. I just love those wheels. Those are my favorite wheels. This is where Tim was putting all new floors in it, floor pans, bracing. At this truck has been rebuilt. As you can see, there's the driver's side that's closest to you. I painted all of it, you know, with rust inhibitor when I was done. Tim done a lot of welding. That's why I easily get upside down on trucks. It's expensive. There's the floor bracing. There's all kinds of new parts on the bottom of the truck.
I'm trying to show everything. It's been done the best that I can. All new exhaust, new mufflers, everything. This is before I started painting underneath the truck. Tim was kind enough to let me use his lift to paint under the truck. It's got all new, uh, uh, everything, brakes, brake lines, everything, shocks. I think I started painting at this point. I'm trying to make things just look, you know, decent, you know, nice and clean. I just want to show you the difference there in my painting. I stopped to take this picture, and I'm glad I did. Of course, I had to go over it and over it, you know, to make sure that, you know, I had everything all covered. I was just trying to make everything look decent. This is what I used on the floors. Uh, stops rust. So I sprayed all the floors, everything. Uh, you know, I painted white where it needed white and done the best I could. That's the floorboard. Here it is with the new carpet or used carpet from the wrecked truck. It was pretty new carpet, so we used it. Matches the dash, you know, everything come from the wrecked truck. Boy, what a difference. What a difference. Just changed the whole appearance. This is the Cheyenne emblems that my wife and I painted with uh, paint markers. Emblems are expensive. There it is, done. Best we could. I was glad to get that done. I enjoy doing stuff like this. Some people might call it work. There okay, it is. Guys, I hope I didn't wheels mess up on, on the video too much. Lord, I think it's a four-six drop. But this is it. And uh, as of with the today, white hood, the doors, the bed. It's been here a couple of days now. And it's been really cold and raining, so I hope that you enjoyed just seeing the truck and seeing the progression in my and in Mrs. P.I.B. and I's eyes. It has come a long way. I know it's we spent a bunch of time and money on it big old shout out once again to tim dixon at gas x chop shop for doing the floor repair rockers cab corners i mean exhaust everything on this truck big old shout out to my friend charlie and a big old shout out to uh gm tim 38 all those people are good friends of ours and and always willing to help us when we need some help so I just want to say thank you, and I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe to my channel, Primer It Is Best. We have much more content we're going to be doing on this truck and some of the others that we have. And I hope that you, if you like square body C10s or, or you know, square body GMCs, I think, you'll, I think that you will enjoy the channel and hopefully now and again get a good laugh from some of the things we do or say or some of the things our friends do or say that we count on to help us achieve what we're <laughs> what we're going for so patina style anyway y'all have a great day god bless y'all appreciate y'all watching i'm also on instagram primer is best i have a second youtube channel man on a budget that i occasionally put videos up on i have a man on a budget one on instagram and i'm also on facebook primer is best and uh, hope you, like I said, I hope you enjoyed the video, the, the pictures. We done the best we could. God bless y'all. Stay safe. I'll catch you in the next one. See you later.